Good morning. Namaste. Thank you everyone for showing up for this practice. Um, you showing up for us as we show up for you. So uh, today is a little bit different to me. Uh, just because, you know, like if you've been my students, you've been hearing my sharing of the quotes or points, and you might have remember the name Thich Nhat Hum. So Thich Nhat Hum is uh, a Vietnamese uh, monk. He's a Pete, he was a Vietnamese monk. He was a peace activist, and he was a Zen master and a spiritual leader, but like, really really like pop like down to the earth too and he 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 passed away actually it when i read it was yesterday mm, january 21st but in in their time it's 22nd so it's kind of like today he just passed away like clip like less than a day so uh at the age of 95 and he wrote, he also is, he was a poet. He wrote a lot of books. In English public, publish, uh, publications, he had, he had like over 40 in English version, 40 books. And overall like 100 books. So anyways, um, he, uh, another, another thing is he, he was, uh, he met with Ma Martin Luther King back then. And Martin Luther King actually um, nominated, nominated him to for the Nobel Prize, uh, Peace Prize. So um, if you are interested, really look look him up because I've been sharing. I I I really I um I read uh, some books and I I, I really influenced not whole. I I I got influenced by a lot of people like inspired. But he was really um for the Buddhism. He was really one of them, and like I share a lot of reading by like that was uh by him. So today's class will out. For me, I, I, I want to honor Thich Nhat Hanh, Yi Chen, Yi Xin Chen Shi. So um, I will share the, that's uh, just turn, that was a, uh, that's just turn into our present moment. Mindfulness, he, he's a big, big teacher about mindfulness too. All the mindfulness. So that, um, let's settle in. Just noticing you are here. Are you here? You're here, right? So your, your body is here and try to bring your awareness here too. that. So you're not spacing out thinking of something else, try your best to be here, to be present. And one of the best things to be present is by noticing your in breath and out breath. Because when you know you are taking the inhalation and exhalation, you are here. You cannot think of, think of like your lunch, your breakfast, your, 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 your job, and then and, and noticing your breathing. So noti noticing each in breath and out breath. When whenever you, you you kind of mind is kind of getting busy and bringing back to the moment. So that's uh, settling through a, a few mom a few moments of breath, breathing in and out. So I will begin. So as you watch yourself breathing, with a uh, just let the breath come towards you, and you receive, and you know you're breathing, and in and out like waves. And today's practice, what, what I will sh sh begin to share with this reading from Thich Nhat Hanh, Yi Xin Chen Shi. His, this body is not me. I am not limited by this body. I am life without boundaries. I have never been born and I have never died. Look at the ocean and the sky filled with stars. Manifestations from my wondrous true mind. Since before time, I have been free. Birth and death are only doors through which we pass sacred fish holes on our journey. Birth and death are a game of hide and seek. So laugh with me, hold my hand. Let us say goodbye, say goodbye to meet again soon. We meet today, we will meet again tomorrow. We'll, we will meet at the source every moment. We meet each other 
in all forms of life. So this body is not me. I'm not limited by this body. Today's yoga practice, I would invite you to think of like this. Really waving together you and me with that interbeings, interconnected, uh, intro beings. That not just you and me, of course you and me now, and also think about we are connected to the whole universe, the trees, the oceans, the animals, the sand and soil. We all connected to that intro being. So it sounds really big, but let's make it as big as possible. No boundary. We all waving in this life. And no forms. This life is just a passage. So through our yoga practice today, every moment, every breath, make it big. And no boundary, no limitation, no forms. So allow yourself to take a 10 more breath. As you take an in-breath, you can think of like you're getting like big and expanding that like spaciousness and all the way up you can think of mountain or god buddha whatever you would like to friend it or higher power universe with the isolation all the way down to connect with the soil with the earth we are the living beings on the earth so that's inhaling and exhale mountain sky as inhale god Buddha, Bodhisattva, exhale, ocean, soil, earth, all living beings. And watch yourself making that really in, feel, uh, just try as much as you can feel that interconnectedness, that awareness of the interconnectedness. with all elements of nature. Are you breathing? You're breathing for you. You're breathing for us. You are breathing with us, for us. You can bring your awareness to that, the nice soothing sensation of the breath that comes towards you. And then they'll be easing out of your body like you're sharing your breath with us. Now that's a gather hands to a heart space, take a nice deep exhalation out. You can go through your mouth or through your nose. And then begin to draw in new breath from us, breathing in and now let's breathe in every moment so we do it for ourselves and also for each other, for the whole beings. And take a moment to set intention for today's practice. I know I already invite you to think of today's practice as no form, like expansiousness. And you can, any invitation that gets you here, you can say your intention too. And slowly release. Knowing today, this body is not mine. I am not limited by this body. So we have no form, no form. So begin to make your body move as I will carry my drink down. Beat you back there on my mat. Oh, yeah. Okay. And let's again just begin with our asana practice. So let's interlace our hands 
Inhale into your stand your hands, reaching forward and up to the sky, to the clouds, to the universe, to God, to Buddha, to Thich Nhat Hanh. Exhale to your right side. Inhale, extend your top shoulder, open. Exhale, so coming back to neutral. On your next in breath, extend your hands a little higher to the sky as you sit bum root down to the earth. Exhale to the left side. Inhale, expanding top shoulder. Exhale, coming back to neutral. Now release your hands down, soften your hands down. Switch your interlock. Switch your feet, the other foot in the front. So we do one more on each side. On your next inhalation, expand your hands, reach you forward, and then coming back up. There you, you get it. Just look up to the sky, beautiful, beautiful sky. Exhale to your left side. Root down your sit bone like you're rooting down to the ocean, to the earth. Inhale, external rotation of your top shoulder as you are still coming back up. One more breath in, lifting up. Exhale to your right. Inhale, it's open the lungs as you are still releasing. Now release your hands coming back down. Releasing and touch Mother Earth. Open your hands wide. Now on your next inhalation, expand your hands in deepness across the, the, the room. And coming back up, reaching up higher. With the exhalation, twisting to your, your right side. So just lift your right elbows up, left elbows down. Passing your palms into each other. Heaven and earth from your elbows, reaching up and down. Take a one more sip of your breath in as you look into the, the sky. With the exhalation, release your hands down. Now turn your fingertips downward to any degree, maybe 60 degree, whatever degree of down. Or like you can come all the way down. Allow your shoulder to come down and release in. Pressing your palms, especially the heel of your palms to fingertips down. Pressing your, 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 the tip of your fingers, the finger tap, and pushing down. Shoulder soft. On your next inhalation, bring your fingertips up to heaven. With the exhalation, elbow, one elbow, outer elbow reaching up to sky, bottom elbow reaching down to the earth, mountain and ocean. And soften your breath and press into your, the, the heels of your palms and each knuckles pressing. And you can look up, choose to look up, root down your sit bone, leave your heart open. One more breath in here. And releasing, turn your gaze, look forward. Soften your palms, release, turn your fingertips down and center, allow your shoulder to drop. Pressing into your palms. Take a one more sip of your steady breath in here. Exhale, release your hands. Take out your, your wrist, open your fingers, switch your rotation like a conductor, and then elbows, and your shoulder moving bigger. And again, let's remember today, no forms. We are beyond our physical body. We're moving together, waving together with uh, like your energy, uh, my energy, the, the trees energy, the grass, the winter smell, the air, everything, all together. And slowly coming back to neutral. Let's bring our front foot in. So whichever foot on top, bring it in. Slowly, the opposite hands will hold onto the, the foot. And slowly with your next exhalation, let your whole body move in with your, your legs, your, your, your shin. Inhale to move, whole body moving together, your spine moving together. And you can stay your leg to any degree. So exhale, we shifting, moving around to one side. Inhale, slowly take your in breath and out breath as slow as you can get so you can feel more. Like almost, and also like timeless. And let's do one more round slowly. Exhale, let your spine moving along to the, 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 the side. And then inhale to extend your legs 
across the line, across the ocean, across the boundary, and slowly back. A gentle hold on to your leg with both the hands, your foot, and side by side. And then peacefully release it back down to the earth. Take a pause, one breath in here. Now let's uh, welcome the other spirits, the other side. So up the hand, hold on to the foot. On your next exhalation, just move along with your knees, your front shins, with the, like a wave. Inhale, extend your legs, diagonal, any, any degree that feels right for you. You can use your hand to support you any way that feels comfortable. And exhale, so rock to one side. Pause, and then inhale. And exhale. And let's do one more round, that's it. Be ready to bring your, your functions your in and just gentle massaging. You can massage your foot or rocking side by side at the same time as you massage your foot. Now let's come into stillness. Pause here for one more breath in here. With the isolation, soften, sink a little deeper, drop a little deeper, let go a little more. And then in breath, feel that aliveness, possibility, no boundary, no forms. Like you are not, you are not you, I'm not me. That comes to all, all, all fours. So that's, uh, we can be cat, we can be cow. So let's play with cats and cow. We could be everything, any forms. So explore with the cats and cow. As you come to, so no forms, uh, like, I mentioned this before, the society like always oh, like, you know, no big belly, like we always try to, maybe not you, but sometimes we, we do like try to suck the belly in, right? So that's drop that happy belly when you, you, when you come to that happy cow, let it cow drop the belly. And when you come to the cat, just really, really find curiosity to how, how high I can reach up to the sky, to the moon, and to look into the, the, the curious cat. Heart. So let's do four more rounds in cat and cow. Drop your happy belly like you're dropping your belly down to the ocean, just swim in the ocean. When you really build your spine up, like when you do like the cow action and it's reaching up as high as you can go, just reach into the moon, the star, the sunshine. Let your energy expanding, your breath expanding with each in breath. There is no limitation. As you have to let it come out so you can share with us. Share your gifts, your breath with us. And finish this round. With, we will rock forward and back after this. So on your next inhalation, rock your shoulder above your wrist just a tiny bit. And see, yeah, so sit back to child's pose. You can come up to your fingertips. Inhale, rock forward, press into your your your, your fingertips. Exhale, lean back. Four more rounds like that. Press into your, your finger pads. Exhale, sit back. Three more rounds. Breathing in big, feel that expansiousness with your each in breath. With the each out breath, feel the giving, like you giving, receiving with the in breath and out breath. You can give and offer. Like you, like, and then next, we come to child's pose. From child's pose, then come to kneeling position. So if you already like, you kind of feel like yeah, any, any side you need sensitive right now, pamper yourself. Bring something to look to to uh, support your knee, one side or both sides. 
blankets, cushions, uh, not couch, <laughs> pillows. Okay, so that, that's how uh, you interlace your hands, dip your palms, reaching forward and up, take a nice sweet steady breath in. Lengthen your tailbone down to the earth, exhale to your right. In your back to neutral, exhale to your left. Switch your interlock. One more time each side, inhale and lift. Exhale to your left. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale to your right. And coming back to neutral, nose facing forward. Lift your hands to the ready. Feel that tingling sensation and vibration. Maybe some heat and coming back down. Rest your hands on your hip. Take a nice, sweet, steady breath and drink your morning nectar. Exhale, lean through your right chin, press into your right chin. Inhale, back to neutral, nose facing forward. Exhale, press into your left chin. Let's do one more round each side. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, press into your right, right, right chin or the, the top of your right foot. And then the other side. And then we're back to neutral. Shoulders soften and lower your shoulder. And this time, let's press into your left foot, uh, left, left back foot and left shin. Take your right leg forward. Adjust your posture so that you can find your balance. Pressing into your front foot and then your back shin. Your nose facing forward. Take your, your hands, interlace your hands. Pressing into your front foot and the back shin. Inhale, extend your hands, reaching forward. And then up, feel the, as long as you can feel the elongation of your body and your breath. With your exhalation, side bend to your right side. Pressing, so you are now twisting your hips to the right side. Sit, stabilize your hip. Inhaling, coming back up. Exhale to your left side. So feel the strength that you, you, uh, as you connect deeply to the soil, to the earth. Inhaling, hands reaching up to the sky. With that exhalation, interlace your hands behind your tailbone. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And take your hands reaching back. It could be any degree that feels right for you. It could be very close to your tailbone, maybe a little bit away. Maybe just if you adjust. And breathing in, one more steady breath in here. Exhale, release your hands down. Bring both, leg, head, both hands next to your front foot. Tuck your back toes. So your back heel, left heel is under, under your left sit bone. Your body is neutral. That's a, like a visor. Let's connect to the visor. Inhale, rock forward. You can lift your front foot. Look at my front foot. You can lift your front foot off the earth. As here, so your back heel come back down to the earth. Close to the earth. Let's rock three more rounds. Now we are lizards. And releasing, drop your back knee softly on top of the toes. And then and from here, extend your right hand out to the right side. Exhale, twisting above your navel area and we're twisting. And waving, waving to everyone, to all beings, to all elements, to the wind, to the fire, to the air, to the Soil, wood, gold. As you exhale, let's bring your hands down. You bring your front foot, carry your back toes. Press into the earth and come on to your, your fingertips or on your block. Lift your heels up to your, the, it's kind of a triangle underneath the variation of pyramid pose. Allow your head to relax towards your the toes, the front toes. Your back heel can press in a little lower to the earth. So feel the energy in your, your body, like the energy is like no limit. Take a one more sip of your breath and drink in the nectar. Allow the breath to come towards you. With the exhalation, release your front foot. Bring your front leg. Bring your Bring your front foot back to the back of the, the wall or no limited. Think about the back of the trees or the air. 
With your next in breath, extend your legs a little backward. Exhale, draw your knees in towards your heart space, rounding your back. Two more rounds. Inhaling, extend your right leg back. And two as your knees, pull in, can ship your heart up. Your lung reaching up to the sky. One more round. Take a sweet, steady breath in. And two as your knees in, we pause there. Two more breaths. You can do a little pulsation, but draw your knees up and down. And then let it go. Let's take our whole body. Can you uh, draw like a moon? Moon shape, crescent, full moon. Half moon with your body. Like yoga mat, it's your can canvas. So you draw, making some artwork. And get ready to come up to stillness. A pause in child's pose. Have your toes gentle kiss together. Your knees could be open wide. Wide if you're comfortable resting in your extended child's pose. Or make a pillow with your arms resting. Your forehead on, on your arms and breathe. Give yourself some, some breathing like no limitation. You just feel like your breath is expanding really big, full of space. And slowly coming back out of this child's pose. Bring yourself up to kneeling position, knees hip width apart. Let's give our lower back some nice massage. Lower back, kidney regions, belly, patting your drum, a little tapping on your the thymus, chest, with your fingertips. Maybe on your, on top of your shoulder, on the back of your shoulder, the neck, and gentle come up to the the, the crown and whistle. Like you're dancing, your fingers are dancing with the with you, with your energy. And then let's shake it out. So now time to do the other side. So come on back to kneeling position. Let's again rock two more rounds in, into each side. So take a nice sweet breath in and see as you're rocking to the left side, pressing to the left shin. Inhale back to neutral, so no space in forward. Exhale to the right. Pressing a little deeper, little deeper, little deeper. One more round each side, inhaling and exhale. You feel one side is really heavy, the other side just really light. Feel that heaviness and lightness. And back to neutral. Get ready to we're gonna explore the other side. So now press into your right shin, right top foot, and take your left foot forward. Bring your body to that balanced state. What's about what how do you interpret that balance? Like you use front foot and back leg stand, or you feel that you 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 are your body is a neutral right the center of your mat. Find a balance. And then we interlace your hands, switch your interlock, move all fingers. Extend your hands, reaching forward and up. With the exhalation, to the left. Inhale back up, exhale to the right. Let's do one more round like this. Inhale, lengthen, reaching up high, pelvis reaching down to the earth. Exhale to your left. Ground your front foot and your back shin. One more big breath in, exhale, releasing. And coming back to neutral, take a nice, sweet, steady breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Both hands next to your front foot and come to your lizard pose. You can tuck your back toes or you can choose to have your back knees resting there. And then that's rock by rocks. In your rock forward, you can lift your front foot off the earth. And here, so rocking back. That your back, you're pressing a little lower to mother earth. Four more rounds, inhale and exhale. Three more, steady breath in. Your breath is limitless. And the last one. Now allow your back knee to be low on top of your toes. Left hand peel off. Front knee tracing to your toe. Ground your front foot. 
round your back, back chin. Extend your head, left hand reaching out and up. Let's wave, or you can make in rainbow shape. And you can think about your waving to the day. You are waving to the life. Say yes to the life, to the suffering, to the lesson. And let's just one more breath in here. With the exhalation, release your hands so your nose facing forward, curl your back toes. Leave your, your heel off the earth, fall into your front leg, both legs long right now. Pressing your back heel down to the earth. You leave your front foot off the earth. Feel the aliveness, the sensations from this body that has no form. Think about energy, your breath, the spaciousness, the, all the connectedness that we, we share. And take one more sip of your breath in here. With the exhalation, release your, drop your back knees slowly, extend your left foot out, from, uh, from back, level your hip, take one sip of your breath in. Really expand your energy through your back foot. As you so draw your knees in towards your heart space. Two more rounds, extending, inhaling, exhale. We do last round. And back to all fours. Again, let's make any, any movement with your, your spine, your torso, your hips, your, your ears, your nose. Smell around, feel around, sense around, no boundary. And just make it, make it even though like you, you are in, in this space, like make your awareness beyond the space you are in right now. And come to your child's pose or puppy pose. Puppy pose, you can have the form resting down the earth. And then from here, we get ready to visit our play with the downward facing dog. Don't come up yet. With the beginners, my legs are take five steps to come to downward facing dog. So with, with, with each exhalation, you lift your kneecap one or two inches away from the, the earth. Pressing your palms down to the earth or, or have your hands on, place your hands on the, the roll up mat or roll up blanket. And slowly lift your kneecap, soften your elbows, maybe one inch or two. On your next exhalation, lift a little higher knee off the earth, a little higher, crown your head, reaching forward. And then now the breath, you come up a little higher, and then a little higher. And whenever you, you're ready, you feel like you, you find your full form of your, your downward facing dog. A resting in downward facing dog, soften your elbow and knees. Sometimes if your hips tight or hamstring is really tight, without forcing it to strengthen, so stretch, and not make it hurt. The lower back issue. So soften your knees and your elbows and breathe. Expanding your breath. Share your energy with the rest of us. Breathing in big. We 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 share our awareness, our breath, our mindfulness. Interweaving our practice together. Intervenes, intervenes. And we're gonna slowly walk to the front of the mat. So paw print. The, the dog spring, make each paw print count, slowly landing and really grounding with each step. Come forward slowly to the front of the yoga mat. Once you come to the front, pause there. You can grab your elbows and hand here. Drop forward and back or left and right. You can move your, your body, twisting gentle side by side. Now find your balance through both feet, through your awareness. On your next inhalation, bend your knees, your grabbing up, your elbows rising up. With your exhalation, we side bend to the right. Inhale, coming back to upright position with confidence. 
exhale to the left side. On your next inhalation, coming back up, nose facing forward. As you exhale, get ready to bend your knees. Have a seat. You still holding on to your elbows. Now press into your left foot. Left foot is digging deeply to the earth. And feel the lightness on your right foot. So right foot takes the action to slowly bring your right foot back. Spin your, spin your back heel, ground your back foot. Spin your back heel, a couple more rounds towards your forward. Few rounds and to find a nice space to root down the back foot. Let it grow roots there. Front legs growing roots to Mother Earth. And rising up to warrior one. Uh, to hold on to your elbows and adjust your stance. If this is not comfortable anymore, make it release your hands on your thigh or on your hip or in your heart space. So take a nice, sweet, steady breath in. Root down your back foot and front foot. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, external rotation, your top shoulder look up. Exhale, back to neutral. Take a one more sip of your breath in. Exhale, strengthen your front leg. Lean forward, your body parallel to Mother Earth, or maybe not parallel, parallel. maybe have some degree there. And just lower your body, but feel the spine is getting really long. Breathing into the long spine. One more sip of your breath in. You bend your four knees, coming back to warrior one. Slowly, like when your hands hold onto your elbow, you can gently use your palms to pull your elbows inward, like pulling inward. Your fingertips could be free. And you can introduce a gent, very gentle, subtle by back bend here. And very be mindful with your, your, your lower back. Thich Nhat Hanh is a mindfulness teacher. Like one of the, one of the important ones that bring mindfulness to, to the Western world. With the exhalation, release your hands. Press in two fingertips or two blocks. Take your back leg off the earth. Let your back leg get really long. You kind of have reaching forward. So long, long, long. Your spine is breathing, really expanding. So you can have both hands on the earth on the block. If you feel comfortable, you can have one hand in your heart space, so it's so expanding your right hand or the left hand to the side like a butterfly. If you are very, very comfortable with the balance right now, you can flow both hands outward or backward and breathe. So be very mindful to, to make a choice. With your exhalation, release your hands down and take your back and knee towards your heart space, fronting your back. Lower your head down. Breathing big as much as you feel comfortable. With the next exhalation, take your right foot back. Find your warrior one again. Remember you, 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 you grab your elbows. Remember how you're grabbing your elbow this time? I have my right arm in the front. Again, it's my pattern, that's my go-to naturally. So next round, when we do the other side, I will switch. I will have my left arm in the front. Same to you, you will make the, the switch, like it will change your interlock. So back to your, back to your warrior one. With your exhalation, let me turn to you. With your exhalation, gently turn to the right side. If you have a need to adjust your front leg and back leg, because right now we can again warrior two position, you step your hands and still have this nice feel expansion. So you can let your energy expanding without actually hands out. Even the, they're kind of limited in this little space, our arms feel energetically, you can expand it. So adjust your front foot and back leg to a nice stance for the warrior two. With the next exhalation, bring your right elbow towards your long leg. Maybe your, your head look up. Inhale back to neutral. And exactly feel your elbows reaching outward a lot. Exhale to your left side. Both legs on fire, right? 
you down to the earth. On your next in breath, coming back up. As you as the, turn your body to the front. Slowly release your hands back. So let me turn to this way again. Release your hands down. Drop your back knees on top of the toe. Shift your hips back. Let your hand move along. Let your foot, front foot, lift up the earth. If that's okay for you. And also spread your toes wide as much as you feel like it. As much as is available for you. Bow into the long leg. If you feel all right and whole body moving, like sit, like when you spine moving, just feel like spine is dancing left and right with the joy, the possibility, the lightness, the life. And then coming back to neutral, to stillness. Release your hands. Take your front leg back. That's, this is cat and cow few rounds. So cat and cow few rounds, then we rest in child's pose. And if you have need, if you, like, if you have water, you can replenish, uh, keep yourself hydrated at any moment. And once uh, you're ready, back to child's pose, pause there to integrate your practice. And see how you're feeling right now. And see how you can make this uh, practice of work serve you, you, serve you. So we are now working for the posture. So remember that, that yoga as we, we, let, we adapt let the yoga work for us. So you can always change. I have, I, I might have the, the ideas that I want to do, but you can always change it. And get ready slowly. Come and roll your shoulder above your wrist. Way forward. Curl your toes under. Slowly transition, one breath at a time. And lift your heels off the earth, exhale. And then take a one more breath in. With the next exhalation, lift your heel of the earth a little higher and gradually use your breath and slowly come into your whole downward facing dog and we got shiva nasana once you come up to downward facing dog like cheering down dog see if you can make any adjustments that this dog feel, feels like really really honored we're not doing too much we are just doing the right amount for this moment, this breath, this place. And let's uh, walk ourselves to the front again. Take make each paw print count. Paw print down like in the sand or in the ocean or in the snow. Making paw prints. Feel the shape of the paw prints. Left side and right side, front and back, corner and corners. And maybe a little arch there. When you come to the front of the mat, grab your elbow the other way, the other arms in the front, and hand here. Do any movement. You can rock, bounce a little, or you can move side by side, or circle your hip. Relax. Now get ready to root down through the three points of feet. Root down strongly, and we rise up. Because we have the, the support from the earth, so we can grow. We can come up. Take a nice, sweet, steady breath in. Soften your finger. Exhale to your left side. Feel the side line is super long, right? Inhale, coming back up. Exhale to the other side. The other side, breathing. Feel the, the essence of no forms with your breath. With your next exhalation, we bow forward, release your hands down. And then coming back again, rise up. Take a nice, sweet, steady breath in. You can introduce a very gentle back bend without, without pushing, pushing your lower back like this. That's a, a, a lot of pressure for the lower back. With your exhalation, bend your knees, root down, have a seat. Now, spreading through your right foot, take your left foot back, the other foot back. Find your body to the, 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 the balance, 
Bend your back heel a few more rounds. Knowing this style of practice experience, awareness will be different than the other side. So see how you will land and ground your back foot. Wake up both legs in this moment of the in breath and re out, out breath releasing. So let's stay here. One more breath in. Pause. Press in through your front foot and your back foot. Press if, if you like, because it's morning practice, if you like to have a little extra energy, because press in your back thigh, pushing into the midline with this thigh, press into the midline. Exhale to your right side. Hip neutral. Inhale to your, coming back forward. Soften your drift to your gaze. Exhale to your left side. On your next inhalation, back to neutral. Exhale, strengthen your front leg. From your hip joint, you bow forward. So see how low you want to, to, to lower your body, your torso, without, without moving your hip. So hips, feel, feel your hips neutral, and you, you lower your head down. At the same time, feel energetically your curly back, your chin forward, hip your chin back. Your breath is bending beyond this room into the space. With your next exhalation, tap your knees down, press into your front foot, in your back heel. And then extend your right hand out. Exhale, release your hands down. Now let drop that, press into your front leg, and take your back leg high. You can stay here, your hands on the block or on the earth. If it feels comfortable, you can have one hand on, let me face you. You can have one hand on your hips, either hand is good, and neutralize your, 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 your pelvis. Or you can have both hands off the earth, maybe grab your elbows, maybe your hands reaching back. And it's okay to, to safely landing, to drop. With your next exhalation, release your hands down. Press into your pajama, draw your knees in towards your heart space, rounding your back. Looking, open your, your, your lungs, the back of your lungs, release your neck down. Take a one more sip of your breath in, to extend your back leg. And as you so let your back foot. Again, find, grab your elbows. Inhale, lift fully down both legs. As you exhale, slowly above your navel area, turn your body to the left side. So feel the sensation once you slowly turn into, if you feel your right, maybe feel your groin, your thighs, very mindful to move. You can adjust your front leg and back leg. Warrior one, the legs position, is they are more like choo-choo tracks. Warrior two, more like a beam. You're working on a beam, so you can adjust. Ah, okay, let's breathe. Stay in warrior two. Pour, use your palms to pull your, your, your elbows into the midline. Are you holding your breath? Is noticing? That's good awareness. And bring your breath to this present moment, knowing you're breathing in and out. With the next exhalation, tip your left elbow down towards your left ankle. Sink a little deeper if it's available for your front, for your front knees. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale, tip your right elbow down to what your right knee. On your next inhalation, coming back to neutral. So we are looking at each other with awareness and joy. With the exhalation, turn your body to the right side. Release your hands, bring your back heel. Drop your left knee softly on top of the toe. Shift your hip back. You bow into your front leg to this. Feel the most breathing in and out. Spread your toes wide if that feels right and nice. And you can allow your whole spine to move along with the in breath and out breath. Moving in a way that feels organic and feel, feels nice. Let's pause here and stay here for one more breath. And slowly, when you're ready, release. Take your front leg back. 
And you can give you a little shake, a little kick. And come to all fours. You can drop your hips side by side with your exhalation. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale to the other side. And coming back up. Take your drink or rest in child's pose. Open your knees wide. Child's pose or puppy pose. Left hand. Do any any expression with your palms, your arms. Your hands could be by your side. Your head, you can make a pillow with your human arms. Or you can make two fists, rest your forehead on the fist as, as you open your elbow to the, the outer edge of your mat and breathe. And then let's rest our whole belly down, our chest down. Do your sphinx pose. Full on parallel to the earth. So last last week uh, I had a really strong last last week's class we talked about this step helpful for the breathing for the di to strengthen the diaphragm. So like di diaphragmatic breathing, and helpful for the lung capacity, helpful to recover from the COVID. One of the breathing. So that's a form down to the earth and you can if it's still like this is not comfortable you can always place a, a pillow just rest your, your chest on the pillow as you're performing this prone position and that's a if it's okay for you just feel that your belly is pushing down your diaphragm lifting up and down so when you're breathing in diaphragm is descending with the exhalation your diaphragm is is coming up and releasing. So that's working on our, our diaphragm, that big muscle, that, that, that dome shape under our, our ribs. And very, very important for our breath is the diaphragm muscle strength. And to pause here for one more breath. If you feel curious, and would you look side by side? And you can pause here for a few more breaths or you can rest in, make your, your arms like a pillow and rest and just let your legs moving along, ankle can move along. And this is still diaphragmatic breathing. And once you're on your belly, you have to use a lot of strength, your diaphragm breathing, belly breathing, you can feel it. And come into stillness wherever you are. Let's come up to seat. So have a seat and just come up to sitting position. Cross your, your knees first. Feel it. Do a pelvic rotation from here. You can close your eyes if that feels, feels a, a nice and comfortable for you. Normally, when we close our eyes, it can, you can switch your rotation. Normally, we close our eyes. We want to turn a little more into our inner landscape in the weather. But today, you close your eyes. Feel your connection with us. Even your eyes are closed. Feel the energy, the, the intention, the blessing. So you can switch your, 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 your rotation anytime you, you, you feel, oh, okay, I'm going to switch it this time and I'm going to switch it again. Breathing in, feel the possibility of this life that has no boundary and just a passage. And how lucky we are, like we meant to be together for this hour, almost end. And then come into stillness, releasing with your next exhalation. Allow your head to lower down. And yoga teaching it. It is kind of locked, like so locked. Jalabanda. On your next inhalation, soften your elbows, open your heart space, like open, blooming your heart. Say something nice to yourself and to us. Exhale, releasing. Let's get ready to, to, to come lay down on the mat. So you can go through your Navasana, your bow pose, slowly coming back down, or you can just forget about it and rest in, lay down on the mat, and then have a drink. 
So lie down on your, your, your mat on. On the earth, like a natural bed. Big bed. Rest in here for a few breaths. You can bend your knees, ground your feet, or you can extend your legs out or any shape that you feel like it. You can have your knees come together. Let's pause here. Close your eyes oh, and feel uh, your next inhalation. Expand your breath. Multi dimensional, dimensional breathing in 360 degree. Exhale, releasing, sharing your energy, your thoughts with us, your life. Thank you for sharing your life with us this one hour of your precious life. Two more rounds. Stay nice breathing. Offer, offer yourself to the life, to the day. As you exhale, releasing any control, and then life flow at it, at it will unflow in its own way. One more steady breath in to accept as you exhale to give. Now dare you to welcome both knees in towards your loving heart space. And that's to make our body happy, to make our spine dance, make our ear listen around, make, make our eyes soften to receive all the light and air, all the elements around us. Whatever you are doing, you are doing just right, just nice for yourself. And let's get ready to come into stillness. Extend your legs up to the sky, to the universe, to, to the air, and circle your ankles, bring your hands by your side, resting by your side, to the mountain. Now pause there. And breathe. With the next exhalation, lower your both heels down. Let it hover if that feels all right. Or you can just let your entire heel resting, feel the support from the earth. With your entire exhalation, lower your, your heels down. You can let it hover. So inhale, entire inhalation with your control, lifting your legs up. And yes, so slowly releasing your leg, lower your legs down. Let your heel hover or resting on the earth. It's all right to make this, this yoga practice works for you. And then let's do it one more round like this. Steady breath in, feel the work. And feel the releasing and letting go with the exhalation. Now hug your knees in towards your heart space. Use your own way to visit your happy baby pose. Your head could be under your thigh, right? Or under your, 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 your calf. Hold on to your calf. Inner, inner ankle, outer ankle, inner arch, outer arch. Big toes or use a strap. Your, your, your knees could be open as wide as you feel com comfortable with your each in breath. You can open your knees up, your knees down. Switch your armpit even wider to the comfortable level. You can explore it. If you feel, you feel like it feels really nice, rock up as I go ahead to so make any move that feels good for you. Happy baby resting on the earth. Like we know baby, they, they are not shaped by our human thoughts. They are just very open and explored. Go back to our most innocent state. And if there's anything your body is calling you to respond, go ahead to do any movement, one or two. Or if you have three, go ahead. Any movement that feels right for your practice or any exploration, awareness, side bend, twist, gentle twisting. Some of you might might always like, like to do that. If you, it's a hands, uh, head, not handstand. Plows your 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 part of your practice, whatever that you can allow, allow yourself this 
before you do it, see, it, do I really need to do this this flow? Is it just because that my, my teacher used to teach me all the time? Do I need to do it? Do I? So like you do whatever is feels right for this moment. Always see what, what this moment is available. Well, how can I nourish in each moment? So whenever you're ready, use whatever you have surrounding you. Make your relaxation purse super, super nice. Make it sweeter for yourself. With, as you can pour on yourself, blanket, come to the wall, rest your legs on the couch, on the cushion, on your even your, your pillow or you have blocks you can slide the blanket under your lower back rub your blanket or on your neck so whatever however you have with you take your time to adjust to make yourself feel comfortable and once you, you find your relaxation pose just allow your body to rest in this moment and again that's breathing in this is when we relax in yoga posture, that whichever you, you are choosing right now, that's perfect for your practice. And traditionally, we lay down on the mat, or get back on the mat, and hands out, like flare to our side, like Koh Shibasana, Koh's pose. So that's like, uh, uh, just the idea of transformation. Or we transform uh, the, after this practice, like a, a, a transformation. So get yourself feel comfortable and I invite you with each in breath feel that you have no limit there is no limit you are not your body your body has no boundary and breathing in like you can expanding connecting with the light or sunshine whichever you like to connect and feel that the that, that spaciousness that goodness the oneness
the moment I die, I will try to come back to you as quickly as possible. I promise it will not take long. Isn't it true? I am already with you as I die each moment. I come back to you in every moment. Just look. Feel my presence. If you want to cry, please cry. And know that I will cry with you. The tears you shed will, hold, will heal us both. Your tears and mine. The earth I tread this morning transcends history. Spring and winter are both present in the moment. The young leaf and the old leaf are really one. My feet touch deathlessness, and my feet are yours. Walk with me now. Let us enter the dimension of oneness and see the cherry tree blossom in winter. Why should we talk about death? I don't need to die to be back with you. This is another poem from Thich Nhat Hanh. You feel the bell lingering in the air from my, my space to yours, like no limitation, no boundary, no form. The body is not mine. I am not limited by this body. So make your body moving like no limitation. Like your body is part of the earth, part of the air, part of the sun, part of the ocean, part of the grass, of the trees, all the living beings. You're part of me and I'm part of you. You are me, I'm you. So make your own way, be, just transition to the side, pause there, take a pause between point A and point B. And that's where you find the stillness, the peace, the tranquility in between pause. Each pause, point A to point B, or each in-breath and out-breath, there is a pause, there is a space, and that's it, stillness and peace. Whenever you're ready, you can welcome yourself, your whole beings, your little human body to come up to a nice upright position. We are all spiritual beings in human bodies. And once you upright, come up to an upright position, let your spine feel upright but not rigid, just very comfortable in this presence, in, in, into your, your human bodies, in this space you are in. And just a moment to breathing in. You can have your hands resting your, your, your thighs or where, however you palms up or down. You feel more receptive or more grounded. And just pause here for a few breaths. Knowing we are right here, this moment. We are breathing. You inter, that intervenes. We are together. We are together. It doesn't have to be elbows by elbows. We are just right here. That awareness the aliveness, that the consciousness is here. So take a nice sweet breath in, one more breath in to join the blessings from each other. And as you are still releasing your nice thoughts and your goodness to all of us, to all right here that is practicing yoga. And of course, eventually we, in your own time, you can offer to even more. And let's get our hands back to your home, to your heart space, heart chakra. And take one more sip of your breath in. Releasing to open your palms like you're looking at a day, looking at a life. And just noticing and let it unfold. And bring your hands back to your home or into your inner heart space, the heart that is has no limits, that can include the fields of heart to include all the awareness and sensation, emotion. And that's bowing to our own wisdoms, bowing to each other. And thank you, each other, for showing up. 
Thank you for showing up for me as I show up for you. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.